Hey guys, uh, Thunder E here, and uh, we're looking at the front-facing cameras of both the Galaxy S22 Ultras, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and of course Exynos 2200. The sun was in front of me, we're changing kind of scenes and directions, so you guys know how this actually works. You're gonna get sound samples, you're also gonna get a look at video, nighttime, all that fun jazz, but that's, we were trying to see if there are any key differences between video and photos for both devices that are powered by two different processors from Samsung and from Qualcomm in the same device. A lot of talking, let's go. Now, normally I would refer camera comparisons to either SuperSaf, Danny Wingate, or Daniel Sin, but I have the Exynos version on the left and the Snapdragon on the right of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, stabilization looks a little bit better on the Snapdragon version on the right. Exynos is a little bit wobbly. wobbly. I'm free holding it, by the way, uh, but the image quality looks the same. Sky is the same. Building looks really, really similar, so have no issues here uh, with the image quality. I, I like that they are matching, especially with different chipsets. But when we move over to this, I'm actually doing a very brisk walk, or I'm almost running, if you will. Stabilization looks a little bit better on the um, Snapdragon version on the right, while the uh, Exynos version kind of jumps left and right. I am holding them as tightly as possible, just to give you an idea of what you, sh you should be getting, especially if you're walking really fast or you're trying to record on the move. I've got no uh, super steady used for this, by the way. Moving over to images, both images here look very similar. The sky is very similar and looks correct. The building colors also look good. The uh, car colors match. Now the cobble on the street looks more saturated and pronounced on the Snapdragon over the Exynos. So that's the major difference here. When it comes to this brick wall with the graffiti, I think the colors are more similar and matching. Nothing looks slightly more than the other. So I'd say this image at least has a proper representation and from both devices. Now, when we move over to our ultra wide angle shot from uh, the same uh, graffiti wall, you can see that the Snapdragon version looks a little bit more saturated on the right while the Exynos looks a little bit brighter on the left there. Now this image here where you have a, a shadowed area and of course sun on the top, both images look matching. I will say though the Exynos has a little bit more of that sun yellow tint as opposed to the whiter tint on the Snapdragon. Now this is a zoomed up shot here of the same building looking at a water tower which is, you'll find a lot in New York City. Uh, both look pretty good. The uh, Exynos has some more shadows underneath there while the Galaxy has uh, more brightness underneath the lever there. Now this is a shot of one of the paths we walked down and this is just a ultra wide angle shot. Imagery looks very similar, colors look the same uh, overall, and I think uh, this shot here comes out well. The sky, this was an overcast day and you couldn't see anything, so that was pretty much a close indication of the sky there. Now we move to the standard shot or the standard wide shot. Again, the colors look similar uh, as well, in just in terms of the imagery, the, the road, the buildings, those colors kind of match pretty well, so you can see at least color representation is similar for both the Exynos on the left and the Snapdragon on the right. Now we move over here to a 3x zoom and the colors still look similar as well. Um, matching in terms of the buildings, you can see the building colors uh, kind of look the same as you move in closer with this 3x shot. Then moving to the next shot, this is a 10x shot here. And here I think you can see some differences where the Snapdragon looks a little bit lighter, just the overall color hue, just a little bit compared to the Exynos on the left, which looks just a little bit more, um, just a little more contrast on there. Now this here is your 30x shot. You can see the sign that says cast angle. We're gonna be zooming into that for the 100, 100x shot. Similar shot in general. I think the colors are fine, they kind of match. So I would say they're pretty much similar. Now moving over to the 100x here, just to see what we get in terms of zoom magnification. They both look similar in terms of the zoom magnification. You can also read the sign that said cast iron. Um, and I think, yes, at the 100x, you shouldn't be expecting too much here, but pretty good. Oh. 
So moving to the shot where it's uh, the front facing camera and of course the camera's facing the sun, you can see the lens flare on the Exynos on the left as opposed to a much more solid image of the uh, Snapdragon on the right. But the Snapdragon is softer towards the bottom closer to my gray jacket while the Exynos looks a little bit sharper there. And my face looks a little bit softer on the Snapdragon and looks a bit, just a little bit more sharper on the Exynos here. But I think all in all, they do do a good job in bringing the image out correctly so you can clearly see me in a shot like this. Now the next two shots are of course with the front facing camera with the sun coming from my right side through the window. What you see here, the major difference is that my face looks a little bit softer with the Snapdragon and a little bit sharper with the Exynos. That's the difference I'm getting here and also more texture on my shirt on the Exynos over uh, that of the Snapdragon. My, my blue denim shirt looks more denim-y on the uh, Exynos. Uh, same thing here with this portrait shot as well. You can see there's just more sharpening of my features on the Exynos version compared to the uh, Snapdragon version, which looks a little bit softer there. And again, you can see the sharpening on my denim jacket compared to that on the Snapdragon uh, version. Now when we move to indoors, there's also indoors at night, it's a little bit different here. Now you can see the Snapdragon has uh, a little bit more darkening while the Exynos is softer uh, with this image. So again, that's just something that kind of happens indoors and you'll see more of that. And also the there's more, a little bit more saturation on the Snapdragon on my shirt. So a lot of varying results here, which I didn't expect to see. Again, it's not too crazy, but some varying results here. This is another shot here, but this is also different where I'm getting more red tones on the, uh, on the Exynos on the left and I'm getting more balanced tones on the Snapdragon on the right. I'm indoors, I'm at a bar and of course with low light, uh, situations for this uh, front facing uh, shot. But again, the images do come out well. There's another image here you can see uh, some more softening on the um on the Snapdragon version on the right, the Exynos bringing a lot of the red tones and lighting from the environment a little bit more. So you can see a little bit of redness on my forehead as opposed to a more balanced color on the Snapdragon on my forehead on the right. Now, this shot of course is the kernel. You expect the kernel to see to see the kernel in some of these videos. And you can see the kernel, uh, he's smiling, he's happy, but you can see his skin tone is different with both. I've got a more darker, a little bit darker skin tone on the, on the Snapdragon while the Exynos is a bit lighter. So for the kernel, it would be like chocolate, dark chocolate or caramel, whichever one he prefers. Now this video is the portrait video uh, for both devices, Exynos and Snapdragon. Uh, this is 1080 p 24. Uh, both look very similar and solid. Now, for those who asked, yes, these two devices are fully updated to the latest software, at least at the time of me publishing this video. Now, when we look at indoor portrait photos here, you can clearly see there's a difference in color uh, in terms of um, contrast on my face. So you can see my I look darker on the Snapdragon while I look lighter on the Exynos version here. So that's something that just really stands out to me. And if we actually crop in 100% to look in a little bit more, you can see the, you can see, yes, it is, both of them are really solid images. They look really good, but there's a difference here in just my look here. You can see I look darker on the Snapdragon and the Exynos, I definitely look lighter on the Exynos version. Now the background looks really solid, good. The colors kind of match all around, but me as an individual, there's a difference and there's a little bit more sharpening on the uh, Exynos version. Now this is a 3X uh, shot here, portrait. And again, you can see I have a darker tone a uh, slightly darker tone on the Snapdragon and a slightly lighter tone on the uh, Exynos. So again, that is just something that you can clearly see from here. Now, this is another shot I wanted to bring up here. This is just in front of a mirror. This is also 100X zoom in and you can see sunlight coming outside. I look darker on the uh, Snapdragon, the Exynos, I look lighter on the Exynos version. So that is again, something that stands out. Now with the kernel, 
Um, the kernel here, you can see, I actually have a more balanced tone look to it. I think it also has to, it might have to do with maybe colors because I'm wearing that red uh, uh, sweatshirt as well, so the red kernel hat, but I think my colors are more balanced here with the kernel in the shot, or maybe it's just because it's the kernel himself that he has to have great photos. All right, so this is low light video, 4K 60, walking out of the street. And the first thing you notice is the stabilization looks better on the Snapdragon over the Exynos. Exynos is swayed side to side, but I do like the image quality on the Exynos better than the Snapdragon. Uh, there is more graininess on the Snapdragon. The Exynos looks sharper right there, especially in, in those situations where you're looking towards the sky. That looks a little bit more black, true to black, than what we'll have with the Snapdragon. Uh, but when we move to low light photos, it's quite interesting here where you look at the very top where the hens are, the hens look brighter on the Exynos at the very top uh, as opposed to uh, the Snapdragon. The Snapdragon looks brighter towards the fridges at the very bottom of the image. So there's differences there. When it comes to this ultra wide low light shot, uh, the Snapdragon is brighter towards the right where the, the plant is, where the, the leaves are, the petals look brighter. You can see more of the uh, petals in the background. While the um, Exynos isn't as bright, the Snapdragon also is brighter by the with the tray on the left where you have all those alcoholic mixers. Uh, you can see more of the, the tray itself. And then this image here, uh, this is one image where you can say they are very similar in all respects uh, the color balance looks similar as well the only thing i would say is when you look at the ground there's more yellow lighting or yellow color bounce off uh, on the ground there which you find similar in this image now both images look really good but you can see more of that yellow light being uh being cast on the ground here on the exynos while the snapdragon on the right looks more white balance on the ground and keeping just the yellow hue towards where the lighting is on the building itself now this image looks solid um i think it colors are pretty similar across the board another image where you will find similar color uh color patterns and again there are a lot of colors in this image here a lot of pinks reds greens yellow oranges very vibrant and i think it captures it well again in the solid one in low light setting this here um i think they both look similar i think they have uh just different cast of lighting i think it's just also maybe applied to people walking behind me and things like that but Images look similar, and this image also looks similar as well, uh, with the the drinks in hand. So I would say you you will get images that have a similar feel, and also we get dim images that will be slightly different. Time for more low light food photography. Now, both images look great from both devices. Very similar colors, lighting, everything. This is what I would like to see. Now, this image also is very similar. There's some parts where the Exynos looks a little brighter on the food, but again, this is the kind of image I would like to see solid across the board. I think this is good representation. Now, of course, I had to walk off some of that food, but this is uh, captured 4K30, showing you what 4K30 looks like. I'm going up the escalator, um, and uh, this is in the Nike store, actually, in Soho. But giving you an idea of what that actually does between the Exynos and the Snapdragon. And we move back to more food photos. Now you can see the fries look a little bit more golden-y on the Snapdragon compared to the Exynos. Uh, again, uh, even the table looks has a little bit more sheen or shine on the Snapdragon and the Exynos, just a little bit, not, not too crazy. Uh, this photo here of my chicken sandwich, which was ridiculously awesome. Um, Nice, very similar. Um, I would say just that there's a slight different color tone in between. Now, here's a shot here of a hot dog van by the park. Similar imagery. I like the look. The colors look the same. Everything looks kind of balanced here for me. So I like that. I want to take this shot. I, I love this. I always walk by this house and I see this uh, statue of the lion by the gate. Love it, this is a portrait photo, looks pretty solid, colors look nice, everything looks pretty balanced. And in a closer shot here, you can see, uh, if you look at the back panel on the right, the Snapdragon one stands out more. The Exynos is a little bit faded and blended to the color of the statue itself. Here is, of course, my Cafe Mocha. Um, very similar in terms of just the colors here. I think they're pretty close. And then this is some lunch I had in between my days of shooting. 
uh, you can see the fries the colors they're is similar but i believe like there's more saturation on the snapdragon over the exynos now the shot of the bike is also one interesting one because the bike looks bright on the exynos image over the snapdragon uh but there is more color next to that dunk donor sign with that orange popping out more Plus, if you look to the upper left, you can see some of the clouds in the sky in the Exynos while the Snapdragon looks like just a blue canvas. And then the wheels look more pronounced on the Snapdragon while they just look super dark on the Exynos on the bike. So all in all guys, it's been a very interesting experience comparing photos from both cameras. Even looking at this photo here, it sometimes the Snapdragon is is darker or brighter when it comes to skin tones it is darker when it's indoors a little bit brighter when it's outdoors when it comes to different light settings you also get slightly different images now it's not fully drastic but it's not as similar as i would like especially when having uh, a device that's supposed to be to have the same performance but with two different chipsets one is the exynos 2200 from samsung and the other of course is the snapdragon 8 gen 1 from qualcomm both in the galaxy s22 series so what are your thoughts guys do you think this is very drastic or do you think that it's just minor and something that can be you know can be fixed with some tweaking or do you think that hey look samsung can we should we just have the same chipset across the board so we can have a similar experience let me know your thoughts guys leave them down below and if you want to see more about the differences between the exynos and the snapdragon version definitely check out our gaming video where we see performance differences um that would be quite interesting for some people who like that stuff but till then i'll catch you on that video and enjoy your entertainment